this video I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how we can simplify Boolean algebra. If we look at this one we've got an A and B and and then we've got an A or B in brackets which means we need to multiply out the brackets basically. So this becomes A and B and A or A and B and B. So we've taken that part and we've multiplied it by that and we've multiplied it by that. So this follows factorising in maths, the same kind of idea, multiplying out brackets. If we had a 5 x on that side and in brackets we had a y plus a z this will be the same as 5xy plus 5xz so it's the same idea the same concept as maths when we look at this though we can rearrange it so this becomes a and a and b or a and B and B. I always like to put it in alphabetical order. We can then see that A and A is just the same as one single A. So this becomes A and B and B and B is just the same as B. So this becomes A and B and we know that A and B, a and B or A and B is just the same as A and B and so therefore that shows the simplification. Next example, this one we can see that we've got x or y and x or not y so we need to fully multiply out these brackets again just like maths so this becomes x and x or x and not y or x and y or y and not y x and x is just the same as x and y and not y is the same as nothing so we're taking it down to this stage now let's look at this in parts. We could look at just this section and there is a rule that says A or A and B just equals A which means X or X and not Y just equals X. So we've got X or X and Y. We've got rid of the zero now and again we've got this same rule applying there so this means that the answer is x. One way to prove this is the case is to add a factor. x is the same as x and 1. Now there's a common factor on both sides and they've both got the same number of factors so we can factorize x and 1 or y. 1 or y is the same as just 1. x and 1. x and 1 is the same as x. So that proves that that is true. There you go.